Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with colors in the software EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. In this case, I'm going to work with the version 3.2 Service Pack 1. So, let's go to the application. So, in this software, we have the possibility to work with ID colors and with RGB. The ID colors also have the possibility to work with the color set that allow me and you also to modify the complete aesthetic of the HMI. So the first thing that we need to know is to know which is the actual color set that we have. So in order to know our actual color set, we need to go to target. In the function basic, we have this color set ID. In our case, is green, the number four. Probably you already know that, for example, if you go to one of your screens, okay, I'm going to go to this one, and if you go to the tool chest, you can find here the color set. Here, you can change this. Okay. As you can see, it changed completely everything, all the objects that you have that are selected in ID. Let's go back to the one I have. Okay. And in this case, for example, I'm working with the objects in RGB, not in ID. So if I go back here, you can see here that the objects it doesn't affect anything at all okay so let's go back in here so so far I show you that the color set it can change the global aspect of all the objects that you work but for those objects that are configured in ID color and not in RGB. And in order to see this, we need to go into the properties of the objects. So let's add a new object here, for example, this. So you can see here in the shape that you have the basic, you find this, the field or the border, and it has a value, which is an ID. So in here, you can change the color that you want, okay, for the fill or for the border, okay. So here I have selected the ID, but when you select ID, you have also the possibility to select ID or RGB. And this is some something important because probably you are trying to work with the RGB, and if the object is in ID, it's not going to work, okay. So you need to pay attention here. So select ID to work with this range of the numbers. We have to one to 60. Okay, so we can link a variable here. We can link to a variable. I already select this one. Okay, two ways. Okay, and then it will take the value from one to 60. If we are going to use, for example, RGB colors, it's not going to be affected in the way that we want, okay? Because the value for the RGB is more than one to 60. So if we want to work with RGB, what we need to do is to, oops, here, select the color, okay? The variable that we have selected for the color, reset the object, you can see is ID, select RGB, you can do this, and then here, select the variable that we want to work with. In this case, I believe I have another one, this one for example, and that's it. This is the proper way to, to predefine how we want to work with the variables. So, in this example I have made, I have linked this let me 
just go I have used the screen and also the content here so I have defined this object to be linked to this variable that will set the this color set for the global and I have also created this color set but just for the object okay so based on the color set I can change from 1 to 60 the value for this object and this is the value set ID object so what we need to check is in the variables for example here I have created this color set which is the global and this one for the object as you can see here I have predefined initial value 3 which is let's close this part which is I need to go to the content which is this original value that we have here for the fill just go back here and for the color set ID which is the global I have link this variable to the target preferences color set ID when you create a new variable for example this one you know just copy paste here you can link a variable to the target variable so you can select here the target color set ID and then it will be linked I'm going to delete it now delete so we can work on this one also I have linked it to the color set of the HMI and then I have a specify uh, input range which is 1 to 10 and this 1 to 10 is based on the possibilities that we have when we work in here in the color set that we had 1 to 10 that's why I have limited that range so let's see the behavior of this let's simulate the HMI it's in the other side okay so here is the global so I can change this from 1 to 10 okay 4 and you can see here the color set ID is number 3 is number 3 but it also changed the value it also changed the color okay as you say but I have using the color set ID 3 why did it change okay the reason is that when you select the object, let me just add a new one here, it has the ID, okay, this ID, but this ID it also the ID doesn't change. What it changes is the color related to that ID. For example, let's change this to silver dark. As you can see, the ID is the same, okay but the color is different okay and that is defined so depend on the color set you have the same behavior and you can still use it that's why so let's go back here you can see here even if we in the eight and if i change this to another one it changed the value the color even if it's the id3 for this particular object so once I'm here, I can select and change it. And if I go here, it changed also. Okay. This is how you can work with the RGB with the ID instead of the RGB. Okay. This one at the bottom is an image, so it's not going to change, but it can change all the other options that we have. So let's go back to normal okay and now let's talk about the RGB so I believe I already covered the ID part for the color set you need to specify that color set ID you can link a variable internal variable of the HMI to the target for the color set ID as I show you and then you can select the color ID for 
any option that you want and that color id is not going to change when you change the color set for the global it's just going to change the color so you can still have a good view of the hmi when you change between different sets of themes so now let's talk about the rgb for the rgb i have made this part of the example okay it's similar to the other one okay the rgb is not going when you select the rgb variable it's not going to be affected by the color set okay it's just going to stay there and be linked to the rgb code that you have uh, let me just go back here to the for example this one let's see so in this one is selected to this r color okay um, let's just simulate but it's the same as the previous one so when you define the object that you want you don't need this is probably one of the mistakes I'm going to show you so for example I want this to be RGB but instead of saying RGB I'm going to select ID and I'm going to link it to the RGB color for the text or the background so variable Mm -hmm. let me just color text okay so I have selected this object as an ID but I have linked it to the RGB color so let's see the behavior that we have simulate it's the other screen there we go RGB so uh, FF Okay, this is the color, it's linked to the color, but it's not working. So let's three. Okay, it takes effect the ID because it's configured as ID. Five, three, which is the original that we have in the past. So in order to make it work as work as an RGB to have this, for example, the complete red. What we need to do is to select the object, reset the object, select RGB, go to the variables that we want, and again, select the color text. Now, simulate. Let's go back to RGB. Now, if I press 3, see, it's not green anymore, which is good. It's working as a RGB. FF, it should be red. Okay. So, we need to pay attention when we work to work with ID or with RGB. Okay. Basically, that cover everything. So, we have two ways of work in this Eco structure by terminal expert ID RGB. The ID are also linked with the global set IDs that allow us to easily change the colors. If you want to use some colors that are linked, they are more uh, related to your company logo, probably, um, and it's not in the already set of colors that we have in the IDs, probably you need to go to RGB and in. When you work with the RGB, with the RGB, you need to be careful when you link a variable to the object. Otherwise, you're gonna have the same behavior as I showed you before. When you select a variable, link it to the RGB color, but it was configured for the ID. It's not going to work the way you want. So, thank you very much for watching me, and I'll see you in the next video.